Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and this time I wanted to chat about why Hardcore Classic WoW is thriving and the reasons behind that. But before we get into it, I appreciate it if you guys would subscribe and thumbs up this video. You know, I just started doing these opinionated commentary videos, and you guys seem to enjoy them. Uh, we're close to 200 subscribers. I would just really, really appreciate it, and I um, I just wanted to say thank you. But the reasons why Hardcore Classic WoW is just viable right now are very simple. And the main reason why is because people are required to play the purest form of the game, which is bringing them that nostalgic feeling of when they were 12 and just playing World of Warcraft. Now, one of my finest moments, and not that you guys asked, but one of my finest moments of playing World of Warcraft when I was 12 years old was I was in this tiny little computer room with me, my two uncles, and my cousin. And we spent five, maybe six hours in Black Rock Depths because we had no idea where to go. The scenery was amazing. And we just wanted to clear everything because we didn't know where anything was. We didn't know where all the bosses were. Now, people playing Hardcore Classic WoW are getting that same feeling of what I just explained. Because now, if anyone doesn't know what Hardcore Classic WoW is, you get one life. You die, you have to delete. There's a couple other rules that I'm just not going to get into right now, but... One of those big rules is that you can only do the dungeon one time. So people are forced to grab all the prerequisite dungeon quests. People are forced to quest in general. People are forced to do pretty much all the quests because once that dungeon reset is up, you can't go back. And again, it just forces people to quest. It forces people to explore the open world. It forces people to play the game, like I said, almost in its purest form. And... Especially when Classic WoW came out in 2019, I was, you know, I, I did this as well, but a majority of people didn't really take a step back to breathe and enjoy the game for what it was, like Hardcore Classic WoW really is doing right now. A lot of us were just trying to get to 60 as quick as possible, get the Prebis, get in the Molten Core, get it done, right? But you can't really do that. In hardcore classic and there has been a couple times of aq20 there's aq20s coming up there's zgs um and then you, you know of course you had the season of mastery excuse me you had the season of mastery molten core clear which was was really cool that hardcore version um which kind of brings me to my next point is that you know there's just a really good community around hardcore classic wow their, their discord is very helpful it has all information all the rules everyone's willing to help it, it's a great discord and if you're not a part of that um, i could put the link in on the bottom there's tournaments for it there's leveling tournaments there's dungeon clearing tournaments there's tournaments with prize pools there's a whole like they have like a a, a leveling league thing going on right now i'm not exactly sure what that is i haven't spent too much information on it or time but it seems really cool and it seems like overall it has that old classic feeling to it where everyone is on the same page about achieving a major goal a, not not a selfish goal not a goal about achieving a, a better parse it's all about chasing one goal and that's hitting level 60 not dying and you know playing the game and now is the hype gonna last you know a lot of people have said this was gonna die months ago but Honestly, it feels like it's getting bigger. And I think Wrath right now is kind of helping propel the hype with this is because people aren't necessarily done with Wrath, but they are feeling a little stale with it. They're running, you know, I know for me, for instance, I have four characters that are doing Ultra right now. I'm not really doing much. And uh, especially with the nerfs coming, it's going to be even easier. So people are needing something to do in the meantime, while they wait for phase three, I think the PTR, I don't spend too much time doing research, but pretty sure the ptr is out for or toc and then you got phase four coming out icc and all that so of course the people some of the people that are playing hardcore wow are, are coming back are going to come back to wrath but it's just a matter of when or if they even come back and the cool thing about hardcore overall was kind of what i'm going to tie into season of mastery is that there's actually a lot of people that how do i word this a lot of people are playing the game for the first time, which was really weird because on a lot of the PVE servers on, on Season of Mastery, I met tons of people that have never played either Classic WoW before or World of Warcraft at all, altogether. It was very interesting. And a lot of the people that are coming back to Classic Hardcore and staying as well are people that have necessarily not necessarily played Classic WoW, especially like in its purest form, like I keep saying. 
So the way that we felt that long time ago is how they sort of feel about the game now because they're forced to explore the open world and actually play the game how it was meant to be played back in the day. Now, those were just a couple reasons on why uh, I think classic hardcore is just absolutely viable right now. And I, I do think it'll stay around, especially because, you know, there's all those rumors about hardcore servers coming out. And, you know, if, if, if Blizzard takes the time to listen to, the, to this community, this group of people and implement what they want, I could only imagine that this hardcore WoW is just not going to go anywhere. But I appreciate you guys uh, for listening. Make sure you like subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys another time. Later.